What's going on guys, it's Jho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and weekly Crucible loot for this week on all three of my characters. So this week's Nightfall is the Taken version of the Winter's Run Strike. So this is the first time it's became a Nightfall since the strike was added in the April update. So it's pretty exciting if you guys want to farm the exclusive shotgun that comes with this strike which is the Stolen Will. So pretty good and now we can farm it more easily instead of just playing Heroic Strikes and hoping to get that strike. Uh, but this is the first time I actually played it. I didn't play it at all in Heroic Strikes yet until this week. And uh, with these modifiers this week, it was pretty brutal. Uh, the strike was very, very intense, especially at the end when you're fighting the boss. Uh, a lot of the taken enemies are very overwhelming. And with the modifiers active in uh, this week's Nightfall, it was pretty intense. But overall, we managed to get pretty lucky. I did get a Stolen Will shotgun on one of my three runs, so I didn't have to farm it to get one unless I want to get some better perks on it. But let's get into my loot for this week. So starting off on my first character on my Titan for my Nightfall drop, we ended up getting ourselves an exotic for my first drop of the week, and we got a Zalo Supercell at 335 attack. So pretty good on that one. We got a 335 drop on my first one so really really good on that first drop and then going into my next character on my warlock for my nightfall drop we ended up getting ourselves a legendary this time so we got a legendary chess piece and it came in at 330 so I believe that is the max you can get from a legendary drop so not really good on that second one and then for my last Nightfall drop of the week on my Hunter, we ended up getting ourselves another exotic this time and we got a Celestial Nighthawk at 333 defense, so not bad. Two exotics out of three is pretty good still, so not bad on my Nightfall drops. And then jumping into my weekly Crucible rewards for my first character, we ended up getting 19 Strange Coins, so not bad. Strange Coins is always good in my opinion. I can always use it for anything involving Xur, so not bad on that first drop. And then going into my next Crucible drop on my Titan, we ended up getting the In Times of Need shotgun once again. Came in at 335 attack as well, and the perks on it were Rescue Mag and Underdog. And down the middle, we also had Injection Mode, a Reinforced Barrel, which is not bad. So uh, not bad overall. I know a lot of people are saying that the shotgun it could be decent, especially in PvE as well. So maybe I'll try it out. I'm not sure yet. At least it's coming in at 335, and I always seem to get the shotgun over and over. I think I've gotten it like three weeks in a row now, but pretty decent. I'll try it out and see how good it is. And then for my last Crucible drop of the week on my Hunter, we ended up getting a Truth Rocket Launcher. So we got another exotic there. A Truth came in at 334 attack. So not max light level, but still a Truth is a really good Rocket Launcher in Crucible right now. So not bad overall. Pretty solid in my opinion as a reward. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.